Okay, here we're going to look at finding some expressions for the remainder of a Taylor polynomial. And these uh, are actually not too bad at all. All we're really going to have to do is just uh, fill in this expression with the n plus first derivative um, at z, and then just plug in where we're centering it and uh, calculate a, th a few things. So let's look at an example here. So suppose we want to approximate uh, the function e to the x near x equals 1 with a polynomial, the Taylor polynomial, um, e plus e times x minus 1 plus e over 2 times x minus 1 squared plus e over 6 times x minus 1 cubed plus e over 24 times x minus 1 to the fourth. Okay, so um, in our case, uh, so we're figuring out the remainder associated with a fourth degree polynomial. Okay, so we've gone out to, uh, to degree 4. So it says the remainder, and we need to put this in absolute value here. It says it'll be the, well, the n plus 1, so the fifth derivative evaluated at z over, well, again, we'll have phi factorial. And then we'll take x minus where we're centering it, which for us is at positive 1. And then all of that will be raised to the fifth power. Well, in this case, our function f of x is just e to the x. Well, all the derivatives for f of x are e to the x. So eventually, the fifth derivative for x, well, that's also going to be e to the x. Well, that means the fifth derivative evaluated at z, well, that's simply going to equal e to the z. And now that's all we have to do is, is just simplify that uh, and uh, plug that in and simplify the expression. So, um, so again, the... Uh, f of the fifth derivative of our function evaluated at z, that's going to be e to the z. Let's see, 5 factorial, I believe that's 120, so 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's 20, and another 6, that's 120. Then we'll have x minus 1 raised to the fifth power, and that will now be an expression for our remainder.